Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make the Anna Griffin Church Easel Card. I've had this a couple weeks, but I just took it out of the wrapper, and it comes with a really easy instruction sheet with some really great examples. It helps keep your die cuts coordinated, just because there's not that many pieces, unlike some of her other easel cards. See, this is exactly how I unwrapped it. And also, um, I'll be using the large empress machine off to the side here. And you will need your large cutting plates just because that base is so long. And I will be using the diamond press marquee to do some of the smaller cuts. So I've picked out a bunch of blue Anna Griffin cardstock. Okay, so fast forward, I have cut out the base and I've cut out the shadow layer, and I'm gonna align the front of the card on the magnetic plate, and I do not cut into the metal plate, like we've seen Anna do. I um, don't have magnetic plates to spare. I do use the, the, um, the metal shim on the back, but if I've cut into the, the magnet plate, it's just by accident and I just have to align things up. I am going to be using the marquee for the smaller cuts, like the windows. It cuts like butter. I am just so pleased with it. And just, it's been a dream. Just getting a few things lined up here. I did have to take a about a 10 minute break and look for this one little window piece that jumped on the floor. I think I have a picture of it stuck to my um, magnet wand. That's how I rescued it. I also tape all the cardstock down. I just don't want anything shifting while it's going through the machine. Uh, really don't want to cut this all out again so it's just for security yep there's that that window all is good so I'm just gonna make some cuts on my marquee and then we'll get to gluing Okay, I have all those little pieces cut out. And I'm going to fast forward the rest of the, the taping and gluing just so we can get through this. It is pretty simple. And you want to use a strong adhesive on that, uh, on the place where the front of the card is attached. So that's why I'm using this red tape. So just sit back and watch my hands do this really, really fast.
Okay, I'm just going to finish this up. Just attach the last parts of this card. I did use for the stopper one of those terrific tags die cuts she had out a few years ago because I'm going to write a personal message on it uh, to a friend in the hospital and get it in the mail right away. And then also I used one of her mini florals that has dimension and basically used that as a stopper. And that, that worked out really well. So I'm just finishing up and then I'm going to show you the whole thing. And just let me know if you uh, enjoyed this. What do you want to see different? What kind of cards you want to see made? Um, and I appreciate it. So I'll catch you the next time. Thanks.